in the legend it was said that this happened in 1950 and when he unalived the wolf ape i guess he tied it to the tower of the church and after he tied it weeks later it started to smell like people in the town was complaining so after they were complaining he said oh no i can't do this so he sold the wolf ape to like the circus freaks and after he sold them a month later he was mutilated viewers discretion is advised yeah that's pretty crazy mm -hmm. do you think there's a curse I'm my witches and norms. Welcome to a Witch Talk Tales podcast. I am your host, Moon Witch. And as usual, as always, Miguel. Hi. And we have our best friend who we love so much. She just came back from vacation. Jealous, by the way. Bianca, mm -hmm. our moderator. Hey, guys. <laughs> now, within this podcast, we're going to be talking about Fresno mysterious sightings, such mm -hmm. as the Chupacabra. A Bigfoot. UFO. The West Valley creature. Oh my god, I forgot all about that. Yeah, that mm -hmm. one was scary. And also the sightings of Lost Lake. We're gonna get into it. Let's go. It is a creature that's called the Devil's Ape or Devil's Fang. Mm -hmm. And it's telling it's been roaming around the Fresno County area up in the mountains. Oh really? Recently it's being called the West Valley Wolf Ape. Because it was recently the most recent activity that it was found was in the cemetery huh. in the area and you said this is the valley what was it again i'm sorry it's a uh, watts valley oh so it's 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 up there towards 180 going up there towards sherry lake mm -hmm. by um i think it's called toll house california yes, yes yes so i know that earlier again we talked about it something about I guess it was like six feet. Can you describe it to the audio listeners and view? Yeah, so this creature is technically like around six feet. It's like a, I guess you can say a huge ape. Mm -hmm. A huge, huge, hairy, big ape. Gray hair, you know, human-like. And, you know, they say that this, per this creature likes to, like, roam around. It makes, like, coughing noises or... Oh, it has a lot of foam in the mouth. Now, there's an urban legend, or from what was we heard, was that mm -hmm. there was this guy named Ansel Adams, and he was taking pictures in Yosemite. Now, when he was taking pictures in Yosemite, he swore to Bob that he saw a pack of whoop apes coming at him, charging. And so his first instinct was to run and hide. But it was said that he went to go hide in a tent. But in my mind, why would you hide in a tent? Wouldn't it attack you? It, it probably didn't attack it because, you know, like like a bear, like, they either will attack or they're just going to be searching for something else and they're going to try to ignore you. Oh, yeah, because I know they say that when a bear is chasing after you, you're supposed to act big. Mm -hmm. So since this is a wolf ape, he probably didn't know how to. Cause obviously, it's like we've never seen it before. Mm -hmm. Well, him. But then there's also another story where a priest. Mm -hmm. So in the legend, it was said that this happened in 1950. And when he unalived the wolf ape i guess he tied it to the tower of the church and after he tied it weeks later it started to smell like people in the town was complaining so after they were complaining he said oh no i can't do this so he sold the wolf ape to like the circus freaks and after he sold them a month later he was mutilated mm -hmm. viewers discretion is advised yeah, that's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's a curse? Mm, there probably could be a curse. Or maybe, let's say, you know, like maybe there was more creatures than just that one. And they're probably looking for the body. <gasps> I didn't think of it like that. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's why the priest got attacked. But, yeah. Ooh, but so, yeah, so this, this ape, you know, it's called What's Valley because, you know, I guess there was a sighting of a person who saw it close to, I guess, close to the cemetery. Oh, uh huh. And then this creature was trying to attack him, or it was charging towards him. Mm -hmm. So then the guy decided to hide in the cemetery until later on, somebody that works there in the park saw saw him, and then he picked him up so they could drive together. But his claims that he saw the creature was still right there, like standing tall. <gasps> Mm -hmm. imagine you saw this 10 feet hairy beast and 
you hear first reactions just to stand there and you, you're in shock like your body froze it took a screenshot so if you guys saw this what would you guys do to react to that? Would you just stand there? Because obviously, you know, people first reaction is to mm -hmm. run. But some people are so in fear that they just stand there without any reaction. Yeah. And, and, and you know, a fact about this is that I guess many Americans, they used to, I guess, hang around with this creature. <gasps> mm -hmm. they, they will coexist with this creature. And uh, I guess there were drawings according to that. What the heck? Mm -hmm. So they might actually exist. They might exist. Who knows? Now, if you guys know anything about this, drop down a comment and let us know because this is the first time we've ever heard about this. And for doing this podcast, obviously we named it Fresno Mysterious Sightings. Who would have thought that these wolf like it even exist? I know. It's crazy. And then it was said that it was in Bass Lake, right? And the valley so it was spotted in bass lake it was valley spotted in yosemite area you know with the ansel guy mm -hmm. and of course recently the the um, cemetery that was valley what's valley you guys doing this podcast just discovering a lot of things in fresno it it, it does it's it's scary mm -hmm. <laughs> because you think you would hear true crimes and you know paranormals but creatures Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be like the big boy again. <gasps> Which we're going to talk about in a little bit. Now, let's get straight into the next story. So, we're going to be talking about the Chupacabra. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but in Fresno, well, in Clovis, in December 4th, 2023, there was a sighting of a Chupacabra. And within that sighting, this man saying that he even, like, caught the news and stuff and said, hey, my chickens and livestock are being terrorized. Mm -hmm. So do you guys know what a chupacabra is? I don't know what it is. <laughs> Did you know that the first chupacabra was sighted in 1980? I know, right? Because you think of urban legend been passed on from eons and years of decades. This happened in 1980. Well, does that happen here or did it happen? No, it happened like somewhere else. I just can't think of it because it's like... Because technically, I think the chupacabra they were originated in Mexico. So, yeah. You know, maybe it was... Mexico started, started. And it just... Okay, Mexico, y'all starting it. I see that. But, so, can you tell the viewers and all the listeners what a chupacabra is before we get into that topic? So, chupacabra is technically a blood-sucking creature, like like a dog-like creature or wolf-like creature. And they usually like to chase, I guess, the reason why they call chupacabra is because they usually like to chase goats. Yeah, so they, they just like go to suck in blood. You guys, they spotted the chupacabra in Clovis. It's no this, way. Mm -hmm. So this man, he was like, hey, um, I'm reaching out to the news. Mm -hmm. I have my livestock and chicken who are being terrorized by this creature. So he waited and he caught it. Now, some said that it was actually a chupacabra, right? Mm -hmm. But others were saying that it's just a coyote who just had mange. So mange means animals, they get this disease where it causes them to lose fur. And also they get these rashes and scales on their body. But others were saying that it was actually a chupacabra. Now, do you guys think that it was really a chupacabra? Or was it just a coyote with mange? Drop down a comment and let us know. So do you hear that um, the X-Files made a video here in Fresno? <gasps> yes, yes, yes. The X-Files, there was an episode season four episode 11 i can't remember the title but i'm going to put it here the x-files actually recorded in fresno mm -hmm. and as you can see the images here we're putting on every slide they actually recorded the episode here in fresno and the episode of the chupacabra was basically about two brothers who fell in love with the same woman and then i guess somehow she got unalive they were saying it was aliens and this and that but one of the brothers he caught a um disease and this disease caused him to get deformed, right? So they started seeing him as like this monster. They started calling him Chupacabra because that's how she passed away. Come to find out, he never even had a disease. He really was a Chupacabra in that show. That's crazy. And again, they filmed it in Fresno. Mm -hmm. Scary. We're yeah, gonna, yeah. I must have to show you guys. You guys don't have to watch it. Mm -hmm. But let's get into the next topic. A scary story about Lost Lake where a little boy who actually unalived himself there. So it's among it's among little boy 
who technically analyzed himself, you know, on a, on a tree, I guess you could say. Like suspending? Suspending on the tree, mm-hmm. I guess th- there's two people who caught sightings of this boy who passed away, supposedly. So there were these two people, they were, they were fishing, and they saw something just across from where they were. And when they flashed the s- flashlight, uh, a little boy popped up <gasps> in a suit truck uh, around four feet tall. <gasps> so when they, they turned the flashlight because they got scared, and turn the flashlight back on, that little boy disappeared. So, technically, a lot of Hmong people that have read that they have experienced stuff there. Oh, so this has to so be something. So, they know something that's around that area, you know, that, of course, I haven't heard of, or I haven't um, experienced very much. So, basically, this is probably a Hmong culture who wrote this. Right. You know, and I don't know about you guys, but obviously when we go to Lost Lake, there's a lot of different uh, nationalities there, correct? So maybe something really happened that we didn't understand or know about. Now, I w- I've never been to that spot to where he did get unalived. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's like a spot that everybody knows, but no one really knows for sure that it happened there. So like you said, how there's a lot of paranormal activity there. Maybe yeah. it's the one that's you know, haunting the place because he's not. Or from what I read, when spirits who get on the lives on, let's say, on purpose, again, we can't say certain words, they are lost souls. So they're looking to find peace, but they can't. Mm-hmm. That's, probably, that's probably why a whole bunch of negativity happens there. So if we were to be there at night time, that's when we'll probably see something happen. Now, if you guys are from Fresno, drop down a comment and let us know. Do you believe that this is really real, or was it just something more than what it really was? Mm-hmm. Speaking of mysterious things happening in Fresno, have you guys seen? Um, a couple days ago, I think um there was a sighting of one of the aircrafts, uh, like frozen mid air, like not moving, nothing. They were just there. No, I did. I did. Mm. Can I tell the story? Of course. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I'm always talking, right? So a couple of days ago, I saw it myself. I was in the Uber, and my Uber was like looking out the window. And he was like, what's that? And I looked, and at first I couldn't see what it really was because it was just looking like a little white spot, right? And I stared, and I, I zoomed in with my eyes, which sounds crazy. And I saw the American um, airline symbol. And I went, that's an American airplane. But why is it stuck in the middle of the sky? So mm-hmm. when you think of a plane going, it's going. But if it stopped, wouldn't, again, this is not me poking funny or anything, but my conscious mind is telling me, wouldn't it, does, you know? It dropped down. So why how, why was it even stuck up there? Mm, I don't think so. in the Matrix. Very glitch. Do you guys believe in a glitch in the Matrix? I believe in anything. I'm pretty no. sure. Yeah. Pretty sure stuff like that happens. <laughs> and the, the fact that this happened in Fresno, by the way, which is weird. Yeah. And you know, a lot of people claim that it was a UFO. That was oh, I believe in. Do you believe in UFOs? Of course. Do you believe no. in UFOs? Uh, mm-hmm. I believe in UFOs. I mean, we, there have been um, experiences where supposedly there's been like white lights up in the skies. I've never seen that. So if you guys are from Singer, listen to this. There's this guy named Jeffrey Gonzalez where he actually owns a paranormal van called the Paranormal Ambulance. Mm -hmm. In the daytime, he's an electrician. But at nighttime, he does investigation. And I guess there's these um, people that help him. They park like a certain amount of time. And then they would try to find... Sky watching. Yeah, they're sky watching. And it's just scary to me because they're actually sitting there looking for these things. And... He caught some of them. Yeah, for saying mm-hmm. for them. And then Bianca, you were saying something about in the last couple of years, they've there's a lot of sightings here in Fresno. Yeah. So, well, not just in Fresno, but in general, there's like um, around five thousand uh, UFO sightings reported each year. Um, and what's crazy is this Gonzalez guy, right? He has people throughout the city of Fresno just. Um, sole purpose is just to sit outside and watch the skies for anything abnormal or Mm -hmm. out of the ordinary you know correlating to ufos or anything like that he even goes on to say that um he has witnesses calling him 
you know, law enforcement, uh, doctors, lawyers, and military personnel that have physical pictures that they have captured over Fresno correlating to all of these UFO sightings and everything like so that. So you're telling me there might be aliens or UFO passing over us and we would never know because we never looked up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the fact that we're talking about UFOs scares me. And I hear stories of people being abducted mm -hmm. and when they come back, they don't remember nothing. Or they have like vivid dreams. Have you seen that movie The Fifth Sense or The Fifth? It's The Fifth Something with Milan Vakic. Yes, uh, The Fifth Kind. The Fifth Kind. Yeah, it's scary. That was a good movie. <laughs> yeah, it was a very good movie. Mm -hmm. So from what I remember or what I read was that there's a lot of military um, presence mm -hmm. here in Fresno. Do you know anything about that? <clears throat> well, yeah. I mean, we have a base here in, by the airport. Right behind the airport. That's oh. right. So uh -huh. according to the nonprofit National UFO Reporting Center, there are roughly around 5,000 uh, UFO sightings reported each year. So this Gonzalez guy um, actually has like random people throughout the city of Fresno whose main purpose is to just sit outside and watch the skies for any like abnormal, you know, out of the ordinary mm -hmm. things happening. So wow. if you see people just sitting on their lawns, just looking at the sky, they're not crazy. Well, like crazy like that. They're just doing the service to catch all these UFO sightings. Wait, 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 wait. Do you know where the airports are, right? Yeah. You know that spot where they park across the street from the airport in the back and there's always cars parked there? Yeah. Maybe that's one of the spots. I just thought they just sit there and just enjoy the view, but now I'm starting to think they're actually waiting for sightings. Mm -hmm, maybe. Who knows? What do you guys think? I believe it. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I tried looking at the sky a few times, just staring at it. Nothing happens. <laughs> Me <laughs> either. I, <laughs> cloud watching and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought about alien, you know, UFO watchings or anything like that. But mm -hmm. that's crazy. Yeah, we should start now. <laughs> we should do one too. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Have you guys seen any aliens or anywhere around Fresno in these sightings? Drop down a comment and let us know. I always say that, but again, we want to get your intake on this. Mm -hmm. You know? I'm scared. Mm -hmm. Well, let's get on to the next story before it gets scarier. Well, speaking of Jeffrey Gonzalez, the paranormal investigator, did you guys know that in Fresno there were sightings of Bigfoot? Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, Bigfoot are these creatures who look like humans, but they're like monkeys or gorilla. And I guess two little boys spotted them because they live in an orchard. Now, an orchard is a house, basically, but with farm landing, right? And I guess when the two little boys was looking over there, they saw this very big monkey hiding between a thing. But also, another guy came forward and said that he saw Bigfoot himself. And he swears up and down that there was five of them at one time. And for me, if you saw about five or six uh, Bigfoot, wouldn't you want to take a picture? And this happened within mm -hmm. this couple years mm -hmm. ago. So I'm pretty sure our camera are so advanced that we'll be able to see them. Right? Unless they have a camera at that time. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Well, that's true. This phone or whatever. Do you guys believe in Bigfoot? Yeah, I believe in Bigfoot. If you guys seen a Bigfoot, what would be your first reaction? I don't know. I'll probably just stare. <laughs> you wouldn't run? No. I think I would just stare for a bit. Oh, I would have left you. I would have left you. <laughs> B? I'd book it. I'd be like, nah, I'm not dealing with that today. I just walked the other way. I'd be like, nope, not for me. Yeah, we would have left you. Sorry, Wait. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You know Damn. those those people in the scary movies, they're like, what's that sound? I'm going to go check it out. <laughs> That's, me right there. That's Miguel with the Bigfoot. No, I'm good. <laughs> And go check it. Let's go check it out. I heard something over here. <laughs> Me and Bianca is the one that we heard. <laughs> oh, you saw our shadow just <laughs> Scooby Doo style. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of that, I was gonna say too. Since uh, Jeffrey Gonzalez owned the paranormal ambulance, bro, technically he's like a um, he's like a Scooby Doo team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you think they get scared? Sorry, Jeffrey, but I'm just gonna ask. Do you guys think he gets scared when they do see these? You know, paranormal activities or, you know, entities? I don't know. It's probably like those 
los paranormal shows they're, they're like get over excited oh yeah <laughs> adrenaline stuff. yeah mm -hmm. that's true oh uh -huh. Oh, well, you guys, I don't mean to end this podcast, but as usual, we do have to, you know, stop at a certain amount of time because obviously we record for hours, but in the video, it's like, what, 30, maybe yeah. 25 the most. <laughs> but if you guys have anything to say to viewers and audio listeners, what would be an advice with all the Fresno mysterious sightings that we've seen? Don't get scared, but record and report. <laughs> B? If you're going to record it, Please try to record, record it right. Look, no shaky hands, no super zoom in where it's all fuzzy. Please, well, like look, with the quality, it's like nineteen eighty seven or something. Yeah. <laughs> no offense, no offense. Uh, no offense. <laughs> but yeah, um, also, um, check out you know all these uh par not paranormal but all these mysterious things, mm -hmm. not just you know um hard facts you know that happen things that happen in Fresno. But just, you know, look out for the unusual. Mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. Now, for me, I just have to say, whether these Fresno mysterious sightings are true or not, just always remember, everyone has their own personal experience, right? Mm -hmm. But with that being said, don't forget to follow this podcast, and we'll see you every Sunday on A Waste Dark Tales. Bye! Bye! Bye.